lower A-frame back on. Something I want to point out. See this little ring? It goes between the axle and the hub. So this one fell out. So I've got to put it back in. Okay, can you see that? Okay. See this little thing? Goes right in there. Like that. And the axle actually goes on after that. Get the back side first. I'm going to pull this shock tower back out of the way here. And get that rear one worked in like that. And we'll try to get the bolt hole lined up. Like that, put the bolt through it. I'm just going to start the nut on top of it to hold it from falling out. Okay, put the back side in. So now we got that. Okay, it's on a little bit of an angle. So when you pull it up, it's not going to line up with those bolt holes really good. And it won't start if it's on an angle. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take that bolt out. And start it in this side just a little bit. Tighten the rest of these bolts up. stop turning so I can tighten that nut up. So that's why I did it that way. A lot better, but I think these got a lot of grease on it. Speaking of grease, we want to clean this disc. Because you don't want grease on the disc. Okay, that's tight. Those are tight. That's tight. That's tight. This is tight. This is tight. Another thing is uh, this backing plate, when you've worked on these cars, you have to be careful because sometimes that backing plate will get pushed get pushed out against the disc and it'll make a noise when you put it back together if you don't make sure that disc is pushed back out of the way. 
brake parts cleaner and a clean towel. Make sure that all the grease is off of that rotor. <laughs> 